Well, things are getting a bit tense at the White House, at least at the briefing yesterday. More questions about President Biden's brutal poll numbers. Given the president's sagging poll numbers and the fact that he is currently placing behind any Republican opponent, has there been any talk in this White House about a change in strategy or staffing going forward? No. Why do you think it is that when you say the economy is improving and President Biden says the economy is improving, that a majority of Americans outside of this building are not buying it? We understand what Americans have been feeling over the last two, three years. It's going to take some time. We actually had to fix the problem that we saw that the last administration left us. In other words, they don't care how Americans feel. They just want you to play by their game. Well, the game she's playing is the blame game. A recent Wall Street Journal poll finds faith in the American dream has cratered under this administration. Only 36% say it is now achievable. That's down from 68% last year. And this is not helping. Here's a headline. Here's how a $16 McDonald's meal might crush Biden's 2024 hopes. Yeah, we're not just feeling it. We're spending that cash faster on stuff that used to cost a lot less. And for his part, the president admits to the sticker shock, but he's found a scapegoat. We know the prices are still too high for too many things. That times are still too tough for too many families. Let me be clear. To any corporation that's not brought their prices back down, even as inflation has come down, even as supply chains have been rebuilt, it's time to stop the price gouging and give the American consumer a break. Is he calling for the government to mandate price dropping? Because that would not be American. Gianno Caldwell, <laughs> Fox News political analyst. Doug Schoen, former Clinton pollster. So, Doug, is that what corporations are doing? Are they gouging or is inflation still high? When we say it's ticked down, it's that amount based on the 9 to 10 percent more that we were paying last year. And it's been cooking ever since. So the prices don't come down. Just how fast they continue to go up comes down. Well, that's right. And Harris, as a strategist listening to this, to think that the answer to inflation is blame Donald Trump on one hand and blame American corporations for price gouging on the other makes no sense. What the administration should be doing is reducing spending, tightening the border, and making it clear that we need to work to understand and ameliorate the issues people are facing at the pump and at the grocery store, not attack, attack, attack. There's plenty of time in the campaign for that. Now is the time for policy solutions, not rhetoric. Chano. I mean, they, they've come up with a policy solution. They're calling it Bidenomics, where only 37 percent of Americans, Americans agree of Joe Biden's handling of the economy. When you think about the fact that inflation peaked in June 2020, 2022, I'm sorry, at 9.1 percent, but yet uh, prices are still up 18 percent over 2019, mm -hmm. we have a tremendous problem in this country. A lot of people get their wealth from their homes. Well, a mortgage, you're going to be looking at 7 percent versus the 2 percent, which it was uh, very recently, and I'm talking about in recent years. We're in a terrible set of circumstances in this country, and Joe Biden deserves the blame for a lot of what's happened because they continue to gaslight and say that his policies are working when they clearly aren't. You know, the blame game, okay. How about the responsibility game? Like, why doesn't anybody take responsibility, accountability for the things that they've done? He's been in office now for more than two years. Who else could have done it? Anyway, yes. a possible third-party presidential run is really worrying the influential center-left group, the third way. The group's co-founder, Matt Bennett, pushing back on claims by Senator Manchin and the No Labels claim that a third party would not hurt Joe Biden and would help Donald Trump. Bennett says No Labels leadership appears to be the only people on the planet Earth who think they can win. One concern around a third party run, he adds, on a scale of one to 100, it's a hundred, Doug. Yeah, uh, at this point, I think Joe Manchin would be a very weak candidate. Uh, probably would hurt Joe Biden uh, as a Democrat were he to run. 
really, I think what no labels and any uh, third party needs is a fresh face. We've seen polls with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. polling as much as 25 percent, because whatever his flaws may be, and I think they're there, he at least is offering fresh ideas and a fresh approach. Hmm. We don't need warmed over politicians running on bipartisan tickets uh, at this point. If there's to be a third party, we need fresh faces, new ideas, and a bold approach, as we had with Ross Perot right. in 1992. You know, I'm just dying to ask the question, who to replace Joe Biden with? Just quickly, and then we'll go to Gianno. Yeah, I, I think uh, right now, <laughs> if Joe Biden doesn't run, it'll be Kamala Harris, as weak as she is. I see Gianni laughing as he should. I think Gavin Newsom, who will be debating Sean Hannity in the next couple of no, nights. he's debating Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. Sean Hannity yeah, no, is that, moderating, so corrected. it is going to be I, spicy, and it will tell a lot. All right, I'm going to go to Gianno. Go ahead. Yes, sure. Yeah, you know, you, you know, I, I think Democrats are looking for choices, and especially American voices, voters, I should say. But who would be the right person to replace? Uh, Joe Biden, Gavin Newsom is the only person that's been really signing up for the job. He's meeting with the, the president of China. He's doing all the, all the activities that one would do if they were looking to run for the president of the United States. And Joe Biden apparently is backing him. He said he should have the job. So <laughs> this is an interesting dichotomy we find ourselves in. Wow. All right. We'll move, gentlemen. Great to have you both. Important time. Thank you so much. Together and hear from every perspective. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.